high-speed instructions. As discussed earlier, PLCs have a scan time. The scan time depends on the size of the program, the number of inputs or outputs, and the amount of communication required. Events may occur in an application that require a response from the PLC before the scan cycle is complete. For these applications high-speed instructions can be used. High-speed counters High-speed counters are represented by boxes in ladder logic. The S7221 and S7222 supports four high-speed counters, HSC0, HSC3, HSC4, HSC5. The CPU 224 and CPU 226 support six high-speed counters, HSC0, HSC1, HSC2, HSC3, HSC4, HSC5. Definition Boxes and High-Speed Counters The high-speed counter definition boxes are used to assign a mode to the counter. High-speed counters can be defined by the definition box to operate in any of the 12 available modes. It should be noted that not all counters can operate in all of the available modes. Refer to the S7 Programmable Controller System Manual for definitions available for each counter. Each counter has dedicated inputs for clocks, direction control, reset, and start where these functions are supported. The maximum clock input frequency is 20 kHz. For the two-phase counters, both clocks may be run at 20 kHz. In quadrature mode, 1x or 4x counting rates can be selected. At 1x rate the maximum counting frequency is 20 kHz. At 4x rate the maximum counting frequency is 80 kHz. Positioning Positioning is one example of an application that can use high-speed counters. In the following illustration a motor is connected through a starter to a PLC output. The motor shaft is connected to an encoder and a positioning actuator. The encoder emits a series of pulses as the motor turns. In this example the program will move an object from position 1 to position 6. Assume the encoder generates 600 pulses per revolution, and it takes 1000 motor revolutions to move the object from one position to another. To move the object from position 1 to position 6, 5 positions, would take 5000 motor revolutions. The counter would count up 30,000 counts, 5000 revolutions x 600 pulses per revolution, and stop the motor. Interrupts Interrupts are another example of an instruction that must be executed before the PLC has completed the scan cycle. Interrupts in the S7200 are prioritized in the following order, 1 communications, 2 inputs or outputs interrupts, 3 time-based interrupts, PDO, Pulse Train Output PDO, is used to provide a series of pulses to an output device, such as a stepper motor driver. The PDO provides a square wave output for a specified number of pulses and a specified cycle time. The number of pulses can be from 1 to 4,294,967,250. PTOs have a 50% duty cycle. This means the pulse is off for the same amount of time it is on. The number of pulses and the cycle time can be changed with an interrupt. In the following example each pulse is on for 500 milliseconds, and off for 500 milliseconds after 4 pulses an interrupt occurs which changes the cycle time to 1000 milliseconds. PWM 
The pulse width modulation PWM, function provides a fixed cycle time with a variable duty cycle time. When the pulse width is equal to the cycle time, the duty cycle is 100% and the output is turned on continuously. In the following example the output has a 10% duty cycle, on 10% off 90%. After an interrupt the cycle switches to a 50% duty cycle, on 50%, off 50%. The PWM function can be used to provide a programmable or adjustable control of machine timing. This allows machine operation to be varied to compensate for product variations or mechanical wear. Transmit Transmit allows communication with external devices, such as modems, printers, computers, via the serial interface. See the section titled Connecting External Devices for Examples.